Forgot something. Can you guess what it was? My water bottles. Dumbass. What is going down, people? This is McHugh's Views. I am McHugh, and I'm about to choke on something. <clears throat> Seriously. So, I'm excited because I'm going to take you guys on just a small trip, but my little first journey jaunt into the world of bikepacking. So I finally broke the seal, went out last weekend, and did an overnighter up in the Boise foothills, and I'm excited to share that with you. But first, uh, I'm going to show you some of the equipment that I bought recently and unbox it and what I'll be using for this ride and my final journey to do the, or not final, but the big journey to do the Great Divide mountain bike route. So let's get on to unboxing that stuff and then we'll get on down the trail. So let's check it out. Well, let's get into it. This is gonna be probably the first video that I truly get into gear and stuff associated with my bikepacking trip. And again, so I'm excited because this is, uh, I don't know, stuff that I need obviously, but again, this is my first time and today will be my first ride. Planning on just doing a short overnighter up in the Boise foothills. So let's unpack some of this stuff, check it out, and I'll give my first impressions, but really it's just gonna be me getting ready for this, this short little ride and my first venture into the world of bikepacking. So I'm excited and yeah, let's just get into it. Yeah, those dogs are gonna be super fun. So I ordered, I did do a lot of research on the type of bike packing bags I would want. So I ordered the, sorry, I'm probably gonna look at my cheat sheet over here too. So I ordered through Arkle, you can probably see that right there. And I got the Seat Packer 15. So that's a 15 liter seat bag. The weight, it weighs approximately 90 or 0.95 pounds for just the bag and then another 0.6 pounds for the rack or the hanger for it. And it's, uh, so what is that? Almost like a pound and a half for this whole system. And then it can have a max payload of about 13 pounds. So that's what I'm looking at. And gosh, we're gonna see. So it's gonna, sh it's gonna show me how small or how much stuff I can actually take. So hopefully I don't take 13 pounds, but you never know. So that's this guy. Let's see here. So yeah, so this is the, this is the Seat Packer 15. It's gonna be really bright. In the sun. So we'll put that aside. And then the other thing I got was the Roll Packer 15. They have a 25 also, but I just got the 15 because I'm trying to keep it as small as and light as possible. Yeah, this can hold about 15 pounds, I think, loaded. Yeah, it also weighs 1.5 pounds, including the rack system, which is in here. So, you know, as I, as I put it on, I'll explain a little bit more about these pieces, but they're fully waterproof. Uh, the other thing that is great about this, the seat packer, is because it has this external, this rack system, slides out. So hopefully I can get it to slide out. So this thing attaches to your seat post, and then this can easily come off. So when you're, you know, dealing with packing this at, in the morning or unpacking it at night, um, you don't have to leave it on your bike. So you can set your bike down, take this off and deal with it. I think it just makes for an easier system. At least that's what I was looking for. So yeah, and with this rack system, because it is like a sturdy aluminum tube here, it locks in and it prevents wag. So hopefully we'll test that out. The reviews I saw said that it works killer and it, and it, it really does well. So that's what I'm banking on. It also works with dropper posts because everything's kind of connected at your upper post so it can slide up and down if you do have a dropper. So yeah, so that's these, these bags. The other box I have here, which it says, do not, do not open with a knife. And I'm sorry guys, but let's just save that one for another video when I can do a deeper dive review of what is in that box, set it up and kind of give my first impressions. So for now, let's jump on down the trail, 
for my first venture into the world of bikepacking with a little trip into the Boise foothills. Enjoy. looks like when it's 98 degrees and you want to get every last bit oh boy I am beat ah fudge <laughs> I don't think I can say anything I have had to do a little hiking because I am out of shape I'm very humbled at the moment in that this is gonna be hard I mean I knew that but wow oh nature valley help me out here to self remember to bring your spoon so you can actually eat dinner out of one of those damn bags up and head back to town and I think that's a wrap so thanks for watching you guys I'm gonna do the whole hit that subscribe button ding that bell if it is down there I have no idea and also give me a thumbs up like this bad boy if you do and I will see you in the next video see you later so that was a quick journey up into the Boise foothills, as well as a quick look and first impressions of the Roll Packer and Seat Packer 15 from Arkle. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. We'll see you in the next video. And down the line, I'll do a future deeper dive review and setup of my tent, which was the, which is the Tarp Tent Pro Trail LI. So be on the lookout for that, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.